So today we're going to talk about improper fractions and mixed numbers. So here I have some fourths. Let's see how many fourths I have. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five fourths. So my denominator is going to be four because that's the fraction family I have. And the numerator is going to be the number of fourths that are present, which in this case is five. Five fourths. Now, this is called an improper fraction. improper fraction. I'll also write it in print so it's easier to read. Improper fraction. It's called an improper fraction because the number on top, the numerator, is bigger than the denominator. So we can take an improper fraction and turn it into what is called a mixed number. Let's take a look at how to do that. So I still have my five fourths. One, two, three, four, five, five fourths. But I can put them together. Let's see what happens when I put them together. made a whole and I have an extra fourth. So I have one whole and one fourth. We can write that. So I have one whole and one fourth. We have a big one to show whole, and then we have smaller one-fourth to show a fraction, one and one-fourth. Let's take a look at another example. Really quickly, I wanted to make sure that I said that one and one-fourth is a mixed number. This is called a mixed number. It's called a mixed number because it has a whole number and a fraction. All right, now let's look at another example. All right, so here I have my eighths. I'm gonna count and see how many eighths I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I have 11 eighths, which is an improper fraction. 11, so the eight is my denominator because that is the fraction family we're dealing with, the eighths. And then I have 11 of them present. So 11 is my numerator, 11 eighths. This is an improper fraction, but we can put our pieces together. So when you're doing your follow-up work, it would probably be a good idea to have an extra set of fraction pieces printed out and cut apart. And I'll include those with your follow-up work. Okay, so, oh, I see we have a hole. So we have one hole, one, two, three eighths. So I can also write this as a mixed number. So 11 eighths is the same as one, one whole, and three eighths. Again, we have a big number for the whole number, 
and a small fraction, one and three eighths. So you can either write it as 11 eighths or as one and three eighths because they mean the same thing. Let's look at one more example. Okay, here is our final example. So this time I have my tenths. So we know that that is going to be our denominator. So I'll write my fraction line and then tenths. Now we just have to count how many tenths are present. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 15 tenths. Now we'll take our next step, which is to put the pieces together. Let's go ahead and do that. Sometimes this can be a little finicky. Okay. So here, my tenths have made a hole. And I have five tenths left over. I have five extra tenths. So my mixed number this was my improper fraction. My mixed number will be one whole and five tenths. But there's one more thing. If I take these, I can put them together as well. So this takes up the space of one half. Five tenths makes one half. So another way we could write it, which would also be correct, is one and one half. So each of these ways is correct. This is an improper fraction, 15 tenths. This is 15 tenths. This is also one whole and five tenths. And because of our lesson yesterday, we know that five tenths is equal to one half. It's equivalent. It takes up the same amount of space as one half. So this could also be called one whole and one half. So there are two types of sheets on your follow-up work. The first one is turning an improper fraction into a mixed number. And then the second one is turning a mixed number into an improper fraction. So it goes one way and then it goes the other way. So let's take a look at what it would look like to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. So here I have 17 twelfths colored in. So let's say I have 17 twelfths. Okay, my circles are divided into 12s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this wants me to convert it from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So all I have to do is see how many holes there are. And in this case, there's one hole. So I will put a big one and then I just have to count how many other twelfths are filled in. So one, two, three, four, five, five twelfths. So this is one whole and five twelfths. Now let's see what it looks like 
when we need to convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction. We're going to use the same example, okay? And then we'll do a second example. So let's say that here it gives me one and five twelfths. And I have to convert it from a mixed number into an improper fraction where my numerator is higher than my denominator. All I have to do is count the number of twelfths colored in. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 twelfths colored in, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is 17 twelfths that are colored in. So it's not too hard. All right, let's look at a different example. All right, so this time we're using fourths. So let's say it gives us a mixed number to start with and we have to convert it into an improper fraction. So here I can see that I have one whole, two holes, so I'll write that, two holes, and one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So I have two and three fourths, and I need to convert it into an improper fraction. So our denominator will still be fourths because that's the fraction family we're using. And then I just have to count the number of fourths that are present. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven fourths. And when I say count the number of fourths that are present, because we're using drawings, that means the number of fourths that are colored in. Okay? So there are 11 fourths colored in. Now we'll try it going the other way from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So if it says that this is 11 fourths, which it is, and it wants me to change it to an improper, um, excuse me, a mixed number, this is an improper fraction. It wants me to change it to a mixed number. I look and see how many holes there are. One, two. There are two holes colored in, and then one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Three fourths colored in. So there are two holes and three fourths colored in. Your follow up work is two sheets. One in which you're going to convert it from an improper fraction to a mixed number, and the second where you're going to convert it from a mixed number to an improper fraction. And it will have the drawings on there, so that will help you. Um, I will see you in our next lesson, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye for now.